Hello, everyone. What would you do if, as soon as you jumped out of your car to vent your anger, you were faced with a large man? Surely this wouldn't be in anyone's plans when they get into road rage. Well then, let's continue this video to see how the characters in today's video react. The incident occurred in Queensland when a previous altercation triggered the man in this sedan to unleash his rage on John right on the highway. He repeatedly brake-checked John in his fit of anger. Things didn't stop there when this man decided to chase John all the way to the police station and rush towards John to continue venting his rage. He was eventually charged with dangerous operation of a motor vehicle, driving without a license, disturbing public order and obstructing police. A previous altercation had sparked this man's rage against the truck behind him. He aggressively shouted at the driver. But as soon as the big man stepped out of the truck, he quickly realized he had touched the wrong person. A previous conflict caused the young man in the Chevrolet to rush out of the car with a baseball bat to vent his rage. But his rage was quickly extinguished when a large man stepped out of the car behind him. The only goal we all have is to get home safely, not to win any road rage. The incident occurred when the man driving the moto suddenly lost control and crashed into the Mazda. But what's worth mentioning is that the man driving the moto got angry at the Mazda driver. The road rage occurred when both drivers approached the roundabout. This prompted the truck driver to get out of his vehicle and charge at the van driver. After yelling at the valve driver for a while, he left but was almost given a big lesson by the valve driver. The driver of the blue car was attempting to make a left turn as the light turned green. That caused the driver to almost collide with the man driving the moto. It was this that caused him to receive a ticket when a police car behind him witnessed the entire incident. Big lesson by the valve driver. The dispute occurred during a previous incident, which resulted in the man screaming at the van driver because he thought the van was going in the wrong lane and almost endangering him. But this made everyone in the van quickly get out and rush towards him. <laughs> the rage happened when the man driving this sedan tried to squeeze into the congested lane. But he was the one who got angry when he wasn't given the right of way. He aggressively rushed out of the car to scream, but this caused him to forget to use the handbrake and get into another incident. The previous conflict caused the Mercedes driver to become angry and decide to use his own car to block the truck. Not only does this not help him satisfy his rage, but he is also in danger. Hope we all always keep ourselves calm in every situation on the road. The rampage occurred when the van driver tried to overtake and claimed that the pickup truck in front did not give way to him. But his attempt to overtake and cut off the pickup caused his van to run off the road. Many people have very simple reasons to rush at you, so always stay in your lane and remain calm in every situation. The incident occurred when this Hyundai did not move despite the green light, for a long time, despite the people behind him urging him. 
Couldn't wait any longer, so the car behind decided to overtake, but this caused the sedan to crash. No matter how big your anger is, please remember that the little moto can hardly change anything with a vehicle weighing several tons. The driver of this pickup truck tried to squeeze into the crowded lane, but the distance was too close, forcing him to brake suddenly. And it was this that caused him to destroy his car himself. A previous incident caused two cars to collide and chase each other for a long time. Things became more tense when both people stopped at a red light and the driver of the sedan jumped out of the car with a baseball bat to unleash his fury on the Hyundai. Luckily, the Hyundai chose to leave instead of rushing into each other. The driver's loss of concentration caused him to not realize that the car in front had stopped, causing the accident to occur. A lot of people have complained about his driving style, even though there are criticisms. What is worth mentioning is that they themselves quickly face incidents because they are too busy laughing at others. An earlier incident caused this man to rush toward the SUV to vent his rage. Witnessing the entire incident, this man decided to use his own car to chase away the angry man. Do you like the way he acts? Please leave your opinion below in the comments section. A previous incident caused the red car to quickly drive up at a high speed and change lanes right in front of the bus. It is worth mentioning that the man in the car acted like a fool when he disregarded the danger and threw an object at the bus to vent his rage. Hopefully, even when you're raging, remember that your own safety is the most important thing. This couple was walking through the intersection, staying in their lane, when a taxi car came out of nowhere and got angry at them. The passenger behind was aggressive and shouted at the man, how dare you cross the street on the crosswalk? Finally, a kind man came forward and gave him a lesson. The rage happened when the Mercedes suddenly changed lanes and cut across the path of the truck, then got angry and claimed that the truck was at fault. In the end, the trucker was the one at fault for knock out him out. These two men rushed to each other to resolve a conflict in a previous incident in Kentucky. The man in the hat was very aggressive as he was carrying a sword, but he soon ran away when the man in the plaid shirt took out an AK-15. This idiot's biker went on, a rage after almost crashing his car while swiping Tinder on the highway. The rage started when the SUV driver refused to give way to the two motorbikes in front. This caused a conflict to occur right before the red light. Just when it seemed to be over, the SUV driver got out of his car and rushed toward the two motorbikes in a fit of rage.
Would you be willing to yield to someone to avoid unwanted road rage? Please leave your opinion below in the comments section. The road rage occurred on Burley's Way in Leicester. A previous conflict had caused this man to become enraged, and he stormed into the cabin of a sports car to resolve it. He even used his own head to do it. Wow. The driver in this sedan thought that his car was powerful enough to confront a large tractor trailer, but this is a very big mistake. The man driving the black car suddenly jumped onto the sidewalk and knocked away the man riding a bicycle in the opposite direction. A conflict arose when a motorcyclist believed that the sedan driver sped up too close behind him and then overtook him. This made the motorcyclist furious and he yelled at the sedan for an extended period. It seemed like everything was over when the two decided to stop, and the man driving the motorbike quickly rushed to the sedan and continued to scream at the elderly driver. Call 911. Hey, what the f you just are you f***ing? The older man quickly responded to his actions. What are you doing? Are you f***ing kidding me? What the f***? A previous incident caused a dispute between two men right in front of the gas station exit. It seemed like everything had ended when the man in the black shirt left, but he suddenly returned and attacked the man in the Jeep. The two then rushed at each other, but the man in black was quickly knocked out by multiple sprays from a pepper spray canister. The rage began when the motorcyclist hit the car's side mirror and then fled. This enraged the retired man in the car, who decided to chase the young motorcyclist at 50 miles per hour through quiet residential streets. The entire incident was recorded by the driver's own dashcam, despite his initial lie that it was broken. He was ultimately sentenced to eight months in jail for dangerous driving and obstructing the police. This road rage began when the man with a dash cam decided to overtake after noticing the SUV driver slowing down. But this angered the SUV driver, who sped up and blocked the dash cam driver's way. He got out of his car with a baton, but dropped it in his rage. The man driving this moto decided to demonstrate the power of his motorcycle by letting the SUV inhale the smoke. However, just when it seemed he would ride away with his head held high, the reality was quite the opposite. A previous incident caused this man to become angry and rush at the driver of the sedan to vent his rage. He even carried a gun to vent his rage. 
But what's worth mentioning is that the sedan driver still refused to give up and even accelerated and crashed into the SUV. If you find yourself in a situation like this, hopefully you'll choose to walk away instead of letting things spiral out of control. A previous small incident caused the man driving this moto to have a conflict with the SUV driver. Things got even more out of control when the man driving the moto hit the SUV's rearview mirror hard. Fortunately, the situation almost turned worse, but was avoided just in time. The road rage erupted when a man driving a black sedan was cut off by a cyclist who sped ahead and blocked his way. The cyclist immediately rushed over to vent his anger when he saw the car window open. Unfortunately, the cyclist was quickly hit in the face with pepper spray. The incident happened in South Australia. John was returning home after shopping when a man in a tram suddenly blocked his path and screamed. He then aggressively approached and smashed John's windshield because he thought John had entered his lane. An earlier collision caused the two men to rush into each other to vent their rage. In the end, the older man in the pink shirt got a face full of pepper spray when he decided to attack the younger man. A prior disagreement had led to the two men shouting at each other while waiting at a red light. The rage became more intense when the man in the car threw open the car door, knocking down the man in the moto. The man in the car quickly got out of the car with an aggressive attitude despite the advice of the man on the street. In the end, he had to leave quietly when he had received enough karma. This rage happened in Wigan, Greater Manchester. The incident began when the white van apparently chose the wrong lane at the roundabout before changing lanes to avoid re-entering the highway. This caused an SUV to jostle for position until it suddenly swerved in front of the van. The man in the SUV quickly jumped out and unleashed his fury. However, the large man in the van swiftly got out and retaliated. A minor conflict caused the man driving the Mercedes to burst into a rage and shout at the van driver. He decided to block the van in the middle of the intersection. Finally, he rushed out of the car, threw something in the van driver's face and left with teary eyes. Cole was returning home from work when, as he was merging onto the highway, a young man cut in front of Cole's car and he even got angry. Everything seemed to be over when the two left when he suddenly followed and cut in front of Cole's car again. Unfortunately for the young man, this time he was going too fast and crashed into the roadside barrier. Finally, the young man walked out to the car and asked Cole not to give this video to the police, but Cole's answer was no. 
The man driving the bicycle deliberately blocked the path of the approaching white car, causing both of them to have a conflict and somehow crash into each other. The rage became more intense when the man driving the bicycle smashed the car's windshield and then jumped up in a defiant manner. In the end, the man driving the white car decided to respond and left immediately. This man raged at the police because they had fined him for his previous violation. And finally, he received another gift. The man driving the motorbike got angry at the SUV for entering his lane. But his rage made him forget that he was driving a motorbike at about 40 miles per hour. Not paying attention when changing lanes, and this is also how the driver in this Porsche caused an incident with the oncoming moto. Not only one, but also two motos had problems. This is also the reason you always need to be observant when changing lanes and make sure no one is rushing towards you. The road rage began when the driver of a sedan hesitated and made a sudden left turn. This prompted the driver behind to accelerate and overtake him. But this made him angry and blocked the front of this car. He aggressively rushed out of the car to vent his rage. Fortunately, the driver chose to leave. The man driving this moto decided to demonstrate the power of his motorcycle by letting the SUV inhale the smoke. However, just when it seemed he would ride away with his head held high, the reality was quite the opposite. <laughs> The rage began when the man in the Opal changed lanes upon noticing that his lane was congested, but changed his mind at the last minute. He then tried to squeeze back into the lane for what seemed like a long time. It seemed like everything had ended until the man in the passenger seat got out of the car, started yelling, and took a picture of the other driver's license plate while both cars were waiting at a red light. However, it is worth mentioning that the driver did not know that the passenger had gotten off the bus, so he left. The previous incident caused both vehicles to have a dispute and chase each other on the highway. Finally, the Jeep suddenly braked, causing the sedan to lose control and crash into the Jeep, flipping both vehicles. Hopefully, this video will serve as a lesson for all of us to remain calm in every situation. In his rage, the man driving this moto thought that the moto's feet and speed would help him destroy the bike, weighing several tons. A woman in a Civic decided that the red sports car next to her was too clean, so she decided to do something about it. First, it was coffee, then a cup, and finally, a Cadillac. The man driving this CRV tried to overtake in a crowded stretch of road, but failed. This made him furious, and he decided to overtake regardless of everything. His speed was too fast, 
causing him to crash into a Mini Cooper and drag it along in his rage before fleeing. But in the end, he was the recipient of bad karma when his car overturned during his escape attempt. A previous conflict occurred when both cars were competing for the same lane. This led the driver of the white SUV to charge towards the black SUV. However, the speed was so fast that he was the one who had to accept the karma he created. Hopefully, this serves as a vivid lesson for all of us about road rage. You never know who you might clash with when you decide to go on a road rage rampage. So getting to your desired destination is the most important thing. This rampage happened in Bournemouth, Dorset, when the driver of the white truck threw a strange object and shouted at the driver of the silver truck due to a previous altercation. Everything seemed to be over, but both continued to use their own cars to rush into each other and pull each other away, then damaged many other cars parked nearby. A previous conflict had caused the two drivers to chase each other for a long time. Everything became out of control when the pickup suddenly brakes checked the sedan causing both cars to lose control and crash into each other and continue to crash into the roadside railing. Luckily, everyone was okay, but both cars were almost completely damaged. Something triggered the truck driver's rage and he decided to swerve to prevent any car from passing. However, an SUV attempted to overtake and the truck driver quickly reacted, but this is what caused him to receive bad karma and he will probably never have road rage again. The man in the sedan attempted to make a right turn despite another sedan already moving. What's worth mentioning is that, as soon as his intention failed, he got angry at the driver behind him. But his anger was quickly extinguished by the pepper spray. This man's motorbike suddenly stalled, causing him to struggle to start it. But the driver in the sedan didn't have the patience to wait for him, so he decided to speed up and pass. In the end, instead of getting home on time, he destroyed his car himself. Mike was on his way to work in California when he encountered two cars chasing each other due to a previous road rage incident. Things worsened when the sedan sped up and cut in front of the pickup truck, causing it to lose control and crash into another sedan in the same lane. The speed was so fast that the sedan left the highway in just a few seconds. Hopefully, this video will serve as a lesson for all of us about staying calm. A dispute at a gas station in Forest Park, Illinois. When a woman named Nance, 31 years old, and her boyfriend had a disagreement, an argument broke out. The rage continued to become more intense when Nance continued to have a conflict with two passengers who were refueling. Things seemed to be calming down when Nance's boyfriend tried to take the car keys to defuse the situation, but Nance decided to hit the gas and speed away. It ended with her crashing into a car that was stopped at a red light, flipping over, and being arrested shortly after. A minor conflict earlier led to the man in the man in the pickup truck to become angry with Mike. He sped up, thinking he was stuck behind Mike, but eventually, the fast speed caused him to lose control around the turn and go off the road. There were even two small children in his vehicle. Fortunately, everyone was safe, but hopefully this video will serve as a lesson for all of us about staying calm on the road.
A previous minor incident caused the pickup truck driver to become angry with the SUV and attempt to chase and stop the SUV. Suddenly turned into karma, created for him by the pickup truck driver himself. The two men driving this moto had a conflict with the man driving the pickup truck in a previous incident. Tensions escalated when all three stopped and started yelling at each other in the middle of the road. Finally, the man in the pickup truck decided to leave, but the two moto men decided to use their Honda Grom to block his way. In a previous incident, two men in a Nissan chased Zayn with an axe in a fit of rage. Zayn decided to leave, but they continued to follow him for a long time, trying to ram the back of Zayn's car. Finally, in an attempt to respond, both men lost control and ran off the road. This incident occurred in California. When a man driving a Tesla suddenly got out of his car and attacked the man driving a Chevrolet behind him, believing the car was tailgating him. He was eventually sentenced to five years in prison after a series of violent attacks. There are many reasons to stay calm in every situation, but if you were the man riding this moto, could you remain calm? Please hey. answer honestly. Hey. The is your bro if you often get road rage, this video is for you. Leaving your car in a fit of rage is the fastest way to put yourself in danger when the person you're confronting is a guy who can do anything. Everything can be resolved when you react calmly. Some young people are casual about their driving habits until they have to face traffic tickets. <laughs> Слышь, я пошли, блядь, в лицо.